This bill will, contrary to what some have said, put greater emphasis on family involvement and involving families at the case stage, at earlier stages in intervention. And we think this will produce better outcomes for Kentucky's youth and their families. Again, the goal, to focus the most expensive resources, that $100,000 per bed per year on these children, on the most serious offenders. And by the way, ladies, we are not affecting the most serious offenders. We're talking about low-level youth and those youth who've, who've not, committed, not committed crimes at all, those status offenders. We think this will return more on our investment. It, enhance, it enhances the CDW process greatly by involving the, the, the DPP and the FAIR team. That is utilized at all processes. Uh, the, you know, the court process, if not successful, the uh, intervention early on, these offenders can still go to court. Let me repeat that. There's some concern over that from several groups, but these offenders can still go to court, but only after early intervention, only after a team of 15 people at the local level, chosen at the local level, focuses on that child and the behavior. And again, these are most likely for status offenses, again, which are not crimes committed. For public offenses, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, we're talking about low-level offenders. On the front end, we'll set some limits on who can enter the system. And on the back end, we want the treatment to reflect the severity of the offense. 